Hey guys, Sinister here. I want to show you what my gear of choice is for milsim and field operations. Stay tuned. Alright, so starting off of my uh, head here, I've got this One Tigris Bump Helmet. This helmet has been a very great helmet. I've owned it for about I'd like to say five months now. I had an Emerson one before and it wasn't that great. The Emerson one was very uncomfortable and gave me really bad headaches. This one has a different type of foam in the inside of it which makes it uh, way more comfortable for use. As you can see it's got plenty of velcro space for what I need it for. I don't really put many patches on it at all but it's, uh, it's been a very great helmet. Starting now off of the helmet, I have my Lancer Tactical Goggles. These Lancer Tactical Goggles did come with the three different type of lenses. They had the smoked or tinted lens, they had the yellow lens, and they had the clear lens. I mainly use the clear lens for uh, my indoor gameplay and an outdoor. Yes, I do use mesh goggles as well, but recently I had been shot up in the face really bad and I had fragmented BBs go in through my uh, eyes and into my mouth and that didn't really taste too good. Now I want to try to deviate back to the clear lens because it is safer than using the mesh lenses. Yes, the mesh lenses don't fog, but if you get a really decent pair of just plastic lens goggles, they should work for you way better and you'll stay way safer out on the field. This is the One Tigris mesh mask. This has been one of the better masks that I've used, probably because of the uh, the cloth sides. Only the front part where your mouth is is actually mesh, and the rest of it is cloth on the side, so it's very comfortable around your face. It has this very breathable material as well. Usually, each mask has this little canvas back to it, but I've cut the back off and taken the straps from my bump helmet and have laced it through the little clips so it stays on my helmet all the time without having to, you know, finagle the, the mask, then your goggles, then your helmet on your head. You know, so all I gotta do is when I need to drink water, I can unclip the mask, drink some water, eat some food, and then reclip it back onto my face ready to go. It's always there, you don't have to take it off, it's, it's pretty comfortable, really easy to use. Next up is the Condor Recon Wrap. I use it to protect my neck. I think I have it in OD Green. Uh, this is a very light piece of material. It's just a, a, like a tube, if you can imagine just like a cloth tube that you can use for multiple things. I just wrap it around my neck uh, just to protect my neck for extra protection. You can douse it with something, uh, some water if you want to cool down. It'll just wrap that around your neck when it's cold. It's actually pretty useful as a sweat rag and a cleaning rag as well. Now for what I run for my plate carry is the TMC CPC. It is supposed to exactly mimic the uh, CPC off of the actual Cry Precision plate carrier. It's a one to one scale replica. It's been a pretty decent plate carrier. I like it because it has these foam inserts in it. It has foam inserts all around the inside of it and it helps make that extra protection so if you're wearing this plate carrier all day, you know, it really takes a lot of the load off and takes a lot of that pinch that plate carriers have. It also has very, very nice uh, shoulder straps. Not only that, it has this plastic membrane on the inside of the plate carrier which helps take the, a lot of the, the weight off of you when you run those big magazine pouches on the sides and stuff. It has this form to it which really makes it stand up and uh, stay on your body way more comfortably than a normal plate carrier just sags on you. It has three magazine pouches in the front. It has two. Uh, it has one on each side. These ones on each side are a little bit larger. You could fit probably two magazines in the side of them and you could put a ball of water. I put a grenade on my right side. Next down the line is my shirt. I have a Massif combat shirt. It has a reinforced elbow to it, so it really makes it really uh, comfortable when you lay down. It's just a normal combat shirt. It's got that nice, breathable fabric in the inside uh, on your, for around your plate carrier. It's been a very great shirt. Next, I have some shooter gloves. These uh, are just some normal gloves. I don't know the brand. I think I ordered them on Amazon. Uh, they got the hard plastic knuckle on them. They're tan. 
They've been a really great glove because they have this rubbery type material on the inside of them. They have this, uh, this on the, in the palm, they have this rubbery grip. It's been really great for uh, being able to hold on to things. Next down the line are my pants, and my main pants that I run are my Multicam TMC Combat Pants. These have the insertable knee pads. Oh my gosh, guys, if you have not gotten these knee pads with just the built-in knee pads yet, I say just go for them. Don't waste your money on extra knee pads. Just spend the extra money on knee, uh, built-in knee pad pants because they are way better. They stay on your knee. There's none of that strap around your leg, and they fall down your ankle when you're running. These are really great pants for the built-in knee pads. Guys, down for my feet, I have the Merle Moab boots. These boots have been very great boots. They're so comfortable. They're like wearing a tennis shoe out there on the field, but they have this rugged protection. They got good grip on them. They're waterproof and they're very breathable. They have that breathable material and woven inside the, uh, the leather that's on the outside. They have been the most comfortable boot I have ever wore. They have been great. They are, uh, they're also mid-high, so they don't go all the way up to your calves, which have been great because they give you way lighter uh, footsteps, and they've also been very more comfortable as well as they still are high enough to where you don't twist your ankle. Now for my Milsim Up, I'm going to be running my Wolf Gray Crytac Gen 1 CRB. This is the Gen 1, so it doesn't have the different body style or the straight trigger. Um, or the pistol grip. I've changed the pistol grip and, the, and I've put an angled grip on it. I have an elevated red dot sight. This red dot sight can be screwed on to put a magnifier for that extra range, but I don't put it on there just yet. I also have my camera mounts on this gun. I'll probably be running this for the Milsim op. This has been my Milsim loadout. I hope it's helped you guys that are starting out playing Airsoft on what to buy. Also, if you guys already have some of the gear like I have, leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you guys run out there. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, that helps me a lot. And if you guys have any requests on type of videos or questions, please let me know and I will try to answer them. I'll try to make a video to help you guys out. That's always great. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys out on the airsoft field.